Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and a welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? I hope you had an amazing weekend, and today being Tuesday, we are almost um, mid-May and going into prom time, going into graduation time, and for so many, there is time of a celebration. One of my clients that came in just last week uh, walked in here with uh, going through a lot of anxiety and everything, and I wanted to talk about that today. Um, What does it feel to feel powerless and what does it feel to be powerful and what does powerful mean and how we feel when it becomes, when we come to say, I feel powerless. So that's today's topic. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because I'm putting together a book called The Powerful She. It is a collaborative book of 21 women who have overcome extreme challenges to be where they are. They're making an impact in the lives of others and they have a story to share. And I believe the reason for this is because we all have a story. I myself healed myself through hypnotherapy to be where I am. And for the last 22 years, I've been doing this work, helping others heal, helping others connect within themselves. And when I say be the best of who you want to be, is because it's not about what others expect you to be. And some say, find your full potential and be the best version of yourself. Well, I think we all find what is the best version. And some of us don't even know it until we recognize it. So how do we do this? As a clinical hypnotherapist, I help my clients evoke what was. So it's bringing to surface What is the challenges? What is the obstacles? What is the pain? What is feeling powerless mean? So what does powerless mean to someone and how being part of the powerful she and recognizing that you are a powerful person and maybe you have been derailed to lose control and feel that you can't, and that's why you feel powerless, is today's topic. So let's talk about what exactly is feeling um, powerful and the entire thing of what is a powerless. Um, You know, they say sticks and stones, right? Sticks and stones may break your bones. But I believe that words can change. Words truly have the power. Why? Because it's all words that create a thought pattern. And the thought pattern is how it impacts you physically and emotionally. And it's the words that you say to yourself. And the words that come and we express or we write, we share, that truly can impact others and of yourself. So when we talk about, like my client who came and said, I was thinking to myself this, that I can't, and all the negative words, all I had to do is evoke, is bring it to surface, All the things that she repeats to herself, the words that she says, is the word a negative word? Is it a positive word? Is it an empowering word or is it a dispowering you? 
and that's exactly what we want to talk about. First, we need to understand what is power. So there is three ways that power is described. First, it's an influence. It is a um, force and it is authority. So someone with authority has power. Someone who can influence another has power and someone which is physical with force, right? Ha can be powerful. But when we think about powerless, powerless means being is described as feeling overwhelmed, helpless, and being in a stressful situation that he or she thinks, I can't, I can't do this. Um, and they are susceptible to anxiety and stress. So this morning I woke up with my heartbeat beating and so I felt so overwhelmed with everything. And I recognized and I'm like, this is exactly what my client came in with heart palpitating, hands sweating, feeling as if I am having shortness of breath and I feel like I can't do this. In a way, at that very moment, feeling vulnerable and thinking that I have no support uh, I'm, I'm all by myself. I'm draining in my own thoughts and where I am. And I don't see the light outside of this. And that in itself is a feeling of powerless. When you're not in your element, when you're not coming from strength, when you're not coming from a position to say, everything is aligned. And I don't know if you have experienced this or not. I think every single human, if we are in any type of a position when with social media, with our parents, um, you know, Mother's Day just happened. Yes, everyone is saying Happy Mother's Day, but not everyone has this incredible relationship with their mother. So that walking on eggshells can also feel powerless. So when we are feeling this, it may it's this inability to exercise our free will. Walking on eggshells, another one and realizing that you cannot express your own feelings, you're afraid, um, and you're hesitating, that in self puts you in this place that you cannot validate what you feel, that you're not being seen or heard, okay? It is a feeling powerlessness is a feeling so experiencing a devastating loss and it can be a physical accident and you feel powerless being in that position or losing one of your loved ones and you feel all by yourself it is it's an undercurrent feeling. Maybe it's not conscious to some of us. That's why it woke me up this morning. Yes, I too go through this. I too am feeling um, very much being human. I go through the same palpitations and palpitations and anxiety. So understanding all this and the sweating that comes. Sometimes we cry. 
thinking I'm all by myself and I don't know who to share it with. Sometimes even thinking I am not being seen or heard, I'm alone and I can't do this by myself. That's exactly when I want you to take a chord of the words you're speaking, how you are feeling, what's happening inside your body, and what would it feel if you were powerful? What does empowered mean? I know it's a cliche where some of the words that are being used And I want you to take time for yourself to write. If this is feeling powerless, when did I feel powerful? When was I the most in my power? How did I feel when I was in my element? You see, if if I am here to help a client when they come in here and they come with all the problems, I feel this, 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 and it's just like spew, spew of all the negativity and they're immersed in that. My question is to say, okay, I hear you. This is not the time for therapy yet. And I want to ask you, if I were to take you from here to here, what does this look like? What do you want to achieve? What do you want to feel? What do you want to be? Because I take you being where you are to where you want to be. But if we have no vision, then it becomes difficult, not only for anyone as a coach, as a either a therapist or as a clinical hypnotherapist to take you from A to Z, we need to know where Q and R are before you are at the Z, before you are at that level, right? So what are the thoughts that are crossing your mind? Jot them down. Or you can take your phone and record in it what's happening. This morning, that's exactly what I did. And I was like, okay, now I get it. Uh, what is the action that I took? I validated what I was feeling. Truly, I validated what I was feeling. And for a moment, I was like, what can I do at this moment to calm myself down? How can I relax? I am in my home, I am in my bed, and everything is safe. And when I think about what has worked in the past, I want you to do the same. What worked then that can work now? What is it that I want? And if in the past what worked then dissolved, faster and it didn't work for the longer period, it was not long lasting, then that's what I can help you with. And the reason I'm saying this and why I want to talk about the powerful she, about the book and the stories that the powerful authors that are going to be in this book is the challenges and obstacles that found a way to come through them to be where they are today and how each of their stories is going to make an impact maybe one person or many is because who we are every one of us our stories our experiences our memories is the words and how we shift it and all I had to do is instantly shift and say, okay, now I understand what my clients go through, what 
anxiety is, what feeling powerless is, and I can talk about it with my clients much better. So this experience for me was to recognize, and that's how I shifted. You see, I don't sit in it. I don't dwell in it. I bring myself up because throughout the years, I've learned how to bring myself when I feel pain to get over the pain. What is paining me? Where is it paining me? If it is my hand, what is it that I am not handling? If it is my leg, what is it that I'm afraid to move forward or step towards? Everything has a meaning. Every thought, every idea, every concept, every image, everything that happens, because I believe there are no accidents. What happens to us physically starts because of an, a, a thought process, a, a, a vision, a mission. And maybe the body breaks us down to give us time, gives us time for us to deal with it or make something come to fruition. Even though it may look negative, it is not. So I urge you to feel empowered. You can empower yourself. You can sit down in a quiet place, in a comfortable place, and ask yourself, actually, you can focus on your hands, on your feet, on your breath, and ask yourself what the light around you is like. Do you feel dense? Do you feel heavy? Do you feel light? Do you feel like fluid? And slowly as you inhale and exhale, I want you to take it in, bringing that oxygen and vitality through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And again, Inhale, oxygen, vitality, life, and release it, the powerful release, as if you're igniting a fire in itself. You can visualize that. And let your eyes close and imagine in your mind. If there is pain, where is paining you? What part of your body is pain? Is it your heart? Is it the heart physically or is it that you have a pain in your heart? You know, we talk about, I feel pain in my heart. It hurts. What hurts? And imagine in your own mind, that visualize reaching a beautiful place of serenity, a place that you feel safe, a place that you feel comfortable. And when I want to ask my clients to feel grounded, I ask them, especially people, and if you, the time for allergies are coming, and if you feel headache and allergies and all the sniffling because that's like the running of the water and the congestion is what is it that you are not seeing and you feel congested with? Ground yourself on Mother Earth as if on grass and walk on imaginary grass. That your toes can be in the grass and just being in the grass. I know some people have allergies to grass, but when it's in your imagination, and if your body starts bringing all that up and you sneeze, you're releasing that tension that was already here. It's not reality, but it is reality in your world. And that's exactly what it is. Feeling powerless is a reality in your world, not in the real world. Again, feeling powerless and fear 
when you go through the palpitation, when you go through that sweatiness, it's your body reacting to the things you feel internally. And if it is a pain, if it is a heartache, if it is feeling powerless, if it is feeling afraid of something, I want you to recognize your body is there to safeguard you and let you know, take care of yourself. So once you're in that place, in that place of safety, in that place that I want you to look beyond the real you right now. And if you could tap into your inner child, where you get to know you, where you get to see you, where you get to validate you, and let yourself find the power when we say powerless that means you had it and now you feel you lost it and it can happen to you today that's right some of us feel powerless at the most height of our career at the most height of feeling happy and then suddenly it comes and we go oh it just happened again it doesn't just happen it comes to remind you so at that very moment become aware of all your five senses your touch the smell the scent right and what you hear, what you see, and what you can taste in your mouth when you're feeling afraid. Does it taste bitter? Does the back of your neck, the hair stand? And at that very moment, I want you to realize no one has power over you. It is you feeling it. So if you want to take control, I can guide you, I can help you. First understand, we evoke what is it that you feel powerless about. Then come to grounding, accepting, appreciating, understanding where you are today and what you can do and how you feel with the tools to feel more empowered and realize. You can shift it and when you feel strong, when you feel more confident, when you feel I can, when you feel I matter, you realize, okay, I feel good enough I am at my best element and I can do this. That's where you gain your power again. And you walk out confidently. So, once you are done and when you are in that beautiful place that you feel safe and secure, you can open your eyes and say, I am. I am enough. I am confident. I am worthy. I am. And you put your name. You open your eyes. And you smile. And you remember. Literally, you remember who you are. Hello, Lydia. So, I am creating this collaborative book called The Powerful She. Is because not that we have the power, but the power to make an impact. The power to recognize and validate 
who we are and how we can help another person to look up, to feel inspired and become the aspiration and inspiration and for another to aspire to their own best. And that's easy. All you have to do is say yes. Say yes to you. So today, I wanted to share and say, when you feel powerless, stand up and say, I am ready to show up. I am ready to stand up. I am ready to speak up for myself. That's the strength of who you are. We are all children of God, I believe, and we deserve, we all deserve a good life, a loving relationship with our parents, with our siblings, with our lovers, with our loved ones, and recognizing we also must give the power within and say, thank you. Say thank you to yourself. Say, I love you to yourself. And if you're ready, say, I forgive myself for holding on to what I thought I have no power. So that's today's message. And every single day, I want you to move forward recognizing, believing, and appreciating who you are. And until next week, step into your power. And I am Lisa Bugari, your expert hypnotherapist, coach, and guide to being the best version of you and healing within. Until next week, God bless you, and may the universal light surround you. See ya. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.